Hello and welcome my friends to our beginner's Pilates session. Let's begin lying on our back with our knees bent. So get nice and comfortable here. Once you're settled in, place your hands on your ribs as if yeah, your fingers are kind of joining in with your ribs. Start with a deep belly breath into your stomach, into your chest. Feel how your fingers kind of spread out and then with an exhale out, activate the inside of your stomach to pull ribs back together and with that your hands kind of move towards another little bit. Let's do that a couple more times. Inhaling, feel how hands and fingers spread with that deep belly breath. And then with an exhale out, pull everything close towards your spine, draw your navel towards your spine and feel how everything shrinks underneath your hands. Two more, inhaling. Exhaling out. Deep breath into your stomach. Inhale. Exhale out. Pull everything tight once again around your belly button. But this time, hold it tight. Take a deep breath into your chest only. So the breath is still very long. But we don't let go of that core engagement. Exhale out, feel how this helps to tighten even more around the core, even though we held it tight. Let's practice this two more rounds, inhaling into the chest, but feel how the chest is not just the front, but also the side and the back. Exhale out, tighten, the so-called powerhouse. So this is something you really want to do through Pilates. We want to keep that area tight, even though we breathe in and out deeply. So we don't let go of that engagement. You will hear me talking about a powerhouse a lot. I hope you experienced it here a little bit. So it's a draw of the navel towards the spine, a cinch around the waistline and a lift of the pelvic floor. Release now your hands, but keep that in mind. You want to shrink underneath your hands. Take a breath in to the chest. With an exhale out, press your lower ribs into the floor, scoop your tailbone under and lift the hips up towards the sky, come into shoulder bridge. Release, roll back down vertebra at the time. Exhale out to lift the hips up towards the sky. Inhale, come back out. Exhale, lift and go back into it. When you lift, you want to feel most of it in your glutes. If you feel a lot in your lower back, come more into that posterior tilt through your pelvis, so leaning back. So it is really your glutes that are firing up. Let's go for another three. So it helps of thinking, lengthening the lower back when you lift your pelvis up. Two more here. Also magnetizing the heels towards your shoulder plates will help you to dig a little deeper into the hamstring strength, into the glute strength, come up one more time, and then hold your glute bridge. So still not arching, we draw the ribs towards another, we tilt our pelvis backwards, and we squeeze the glutes. That in itself is already a hard work. Let's add in just a little bit here. So reach with your arms now over your head, inhale. With an exhale, press your hands back down to the outer hips. Inhale, reach your arms over your head, watch your core, activate your powerhouse, let your hands come back down to the outer hips. Good job. Inhale to reach. Exhale, hands down to the hips. Let's go for another three here. In. Exhale, hands down. Two more. In. Exhale, push your hands back down. Watch your hips. Are they still as high as they can be? If not, come a little higher. Open your arms just one more time, this time to stay here and then roll down vertebra at the time. Oh, beautiful. Draw both of your knees into your chest and hug them close into your chest to give yourself a cuddle. Rock from side to side here. Well done. Open your legs now into tabletop position. So 90 degrees in your hips, 90 degrees in your knees. Separate your knees so they hip with distance apart. Work on your imprint position. So press your ribs down into the floor. And this itself is already a core activation when we don't use our knees. So I keep my knees on top of my hips. I keep my imprint position, hands beside your hips, and feel how this fires up the core. Let's get a feeling for that. Inhale, arch your lower back away from the floor. Keep your knees exactly where they are. Exhale, press your lower back into the ground. Chin stays tucked. Inhale to release. 
exhale press down inhale to release exhale press down do you get that feeling for it beautiful let's do that one more time come into that imprint position and now hold it so this is from where we want to work from here tap your right foot down to the floor tap bring it back up into tabata position left foot down to the floor tap tabata position let's go for another eight seven inhale exhale six five the foot movement is not even the most important part it is really that imprint position draw your hips towards another press your lower ribs on the back down into the floor you're almost there let's go for one more good job rest your knees and your ankles against each other stay in your imprint 90 90 degrees hips and knees hands behind your head in with an exhale curl your chin towards your chest roll up look through your legs coming back down again inhale exhale and back down your legs are not just resting into each other they're actually squeezing actively into each other can you do that so press your knees oof, hardcore into each other when you lift your head up towards your knees and then give me here another five you can do it i know it four good work three two last one come on up hold it with me for ten nine still squeezing those legs into each other so we utilize even more strength to help us to stay up there you're almost there looking good last four three two one return back down to the floor hands can come down towards your hips then straighten your legs ah oh, maybe just wiggle around here for a moment for a short breather beautiful then hold on to your right leg behind your knee inhale to prepare with an exhale let your left leg come down to the floor and pull your right leg actively towards your chest then come back together in exhale split your legs inhale close exhale split so if you're a flexible person feel free to come even a little higher holding the ankle or the calf when you split your legs beautiful give me another four here and close three and close two and close your last one and close beautiful bend your left knee keep your right leg straight hug now your left knee into your chest right leg only moves down and lift good down and lift pull that left knee even closer into your chest when you drop that right leg down feel how your core is helping you to stay neutral through your spine that's it good let's go for another five oh yes we love that <laughs> four good job three two and your last one beautiful bend now your right knee just halfway not even too much and step your right foot down to the floor open your left knee into a tabletop position bring your hands behind your head inhale to prepare exhale pull your left knee towards your chest lift up and draw your right elbow into that left knee coming back straighten that left leg to the center of the room drop your head shoulders down to the floor exhale pull in cross over inhale straighten and drop come up and over straighten and drop nice one up down and drop up down and drop that feels nice doesn't it i know you're owning this i know you're smoking it let's go for another five. Oh yes four three two and your last one good job step your feet down open your arms to the side windshield wipe your legs from side to side Whew, good job back to center with both of our legs going straight up towards the sky hold on to your left knee this time the back of your left knee and then work with your right leg drop right leg down come back up beautiful maybe pulling that left leg actively towards your chest when that right leg comes down drop right leg down pull in and back up good right leg down 
and back up. Let's go. So enjoying the nice stretch that comes with that exercise. Let's go for another five. Four. Three. Two. Looking good over there. Last one. Beautiful. That's it. Then bend your right knee now down towards your chest. Hug it deeply into your chest. Left leg moves down. Lift it back up. Good. Inhale. Come back up. Down to the floor. And back up. So the right knee hugs even closer into your chest when you drop that left leg down to the floor. And then find that deep core engagement around your belly. Lift the pelvic floor up and in. Cinch around your waistline. Draw your navel towards the spine to move that left leg smoothly through space. Only two more. You got this. One more. Oh, yes. Then bend your left knee just slightly so you can place your left foot flat down on the floor. Bring your right leg into a tabletop position. Hands behind your head. Inhale to prepare. With an exhale, come up, cross over, draw left elbow into your right knee and vice versa. Come back down, straighten your left leg. Come up and cross over. X. Inhale, center and straighten. X. Inhale. X. Looking good. You're doing great. We need six more here. Put it all in. You made the time to turn on that YouTube video. So make the most out of it now by really staying present with yourself and the exercise itself. Nice. Let's go for another three. Oh, yes. Two. Last one. That's it. Good job. Both feet down to the floor. Windshield wipe your legs from side to side. <sighs> Coming back into our glute bridges. So walk your feet again towards your sit bones. Hands by your hips. Find your imprint. Press down. Scoop your tailbone under. Lift up. At the highest point, come even higher by coming onto your tippy toes. So heels are elevated. Beautiful. Drop your butt halfway down. Come back up for 10, 9. Same cues like in our first set of glute bridging. So we still find that posterior tilt in our pelvis. We squeeze into the glutes. You're looking good. I hope you feel it in the backside. Give me another four. Good job. Three, two, last one all the way up, hold at the top, drop your right heel down, lift it back up, left heel down, lift it back up. Don't forget about that back tilt in your pelvis, keep that alive all the way through. Let's go for another six, nice, five, oh yes, four, Woo. three, good job, two, and your last one, good Work, heels down, spine down, straighten your legs. Whew. Take a deep breath in, in between. When we have those breaks, you're more than welcome to breathe into the stomach again. So we stretch the core from the inside out before we activate everything again. You good to go? Me too. Let's bring our arms over our head, inhale. From here, curl your chin towards your chest, hold the back of your knees, and with that, holding onto the back of your knees, start to roll up. Reach for your toes, so free your hands, come back up nice and tall, exhale out, same thing, so you can hold on to the thighs, it's not really like a lot of hold, just a little bit of tactile feedback that can help you to lower yourself down. If you feel ready for it and you feel like, nah, I don't have to hold on to my thighs, I can roll up without lots of momentum, without holding on, please go for it. But this is a beautiful modification for our roll-up. So we hold on to the outer thighs and we kind of slow it down a little bit and have a little more resistance for gravity. Arms overhead, inhale, chin to chest, pick yourself up, grab your thighs and then from here, oof, 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 pull yourself up. So good, everyone. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, exhale, round and come back down. Maybe grabbing those thighs. Coming overhead. Last one is only half one, so we're kind of there already. Pull yourself back up, walking up along those thighs. Nice job. Reach long for your toes. 
come back up nice and tall. Inhale and then place your hands behind you. Fingertips facing towards your toes. And then drop down onto your forearms. Beautiful. Try not to sag into your shoulders too much. Lift yourself out of the shoulders. Then bend one knee and then the second knee. Curl your tailbone under. Imagine you want to stitch your ribs down towards your hips. And then keep them down there. From here, lift your right knee into your chest. Straighten your right leg out. Sway it open to the right side. Back to center. Pull right knee in. Let's do that. Out to the side. Back to center and in out to the side back to center and in two more really nice don't forget about those shoulders keep on lifting yourself out last one and in let's switch sides left knee into your chest press it out to the side in pull it in let's go out to the side to center Nice. Last three. Oh, yes. Two more. To the side. In. And your last one. Out. To the side. To the center. Come in. Foot back down to the floor. Lift those elbows whoop, off the floor. Dig the heels into the ground. Now bring your hands on top of your knees. Take a deep breath in here. With an exhale, round your spine and lean back as far as you can. Come back up in. Exhale, round and lean back. Shoop. Inhale. Curl tailbone under, round and come back. Nice. Good. Give me another three here. Same thing here. We try to stitch our ribs down towards our hips. So it is an active rounding. So it's our core that does the work, not only our hip flexors. Last one, lean back, come back up. Beautiful. Now hold the back of your left knee with your left hand. Roll back, open right arm to the side, back on top of that knee. So we stay in our lean back position. We can assist here with our left hand. And we start to open our right arm to the side. It's not just the arm that is moving, it's our chest our gaze. However, our hips, they stay centered. They don't move at all. Let's go for another five. Good work. Four. Three. Looking good. Two. And your last one. Open, open, open. Beautiful. Come back with your shoulders on top of your hips. Just to reset, maybe stretch the spine long. Let's go over to the other side. So that's the right hand that holds your right knee. Then drop back, left hand on top of your left knee. From here, open to the side. Bring hand back on top of your knee, but try to stay in that curve shape. So the shoulders are not necessarily on top of your hips. You're not sitting on your sit bones. You're off your sit bones on your sacrum. <sighs> Good work. Let's go for another three. Nice. Two, fantastic, and one, well done. Then pull yourself out, stretch your spine long, <sighs> swing your legs around, and come with me into a tabletop position. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Extend that right leg out behind you. Keep that right leg long and strong. From here, lift it up. Back down to the floor, try to keep your hips level. Lift and down all the way up and down so when you kick that right heel up towards the sky i want you to focus on your powerhouse so we never lose it even here if when you're facing down draw your navel towards your spine and avoid any arching of the lower back so you don't want to kick the heel up and open keep that core engaged only two more here Last one, come up and then hold it here. Now find your balance. Again, it comes from your core. Extend your left arm out in front of you. Bring knee and elbow together underneath. Ooh, wobbly. Embrace the wobbles. Inhale, exhale, curl. In, exhale, curl. Good. Give me another seven here. I know it might feel tricky not to fall over, but you're doing a great job. And even if you fall over once, that's okay. Just pick it back up again and keep going. Another five. Good. Four. Three. So good. Two. And your last one. 
Nice job. Bring both knees and hands down to the floor. Open your knees a little wider to the side and then sit it back. You can rest your forehead down towards the ground. Hmm. Stay here for two more. One more. Perfect. And come back on your hands and your knees. You do the second round and sometimes it feels easier because your mind knows what to expect. Left, so let's take that as our advantage to smash it. Left leg out, lengthen your tailbone to the back of the room, draw your navel in. Let's go, lift that left leg up and down. Up towards the sky and back down. Good, lift and lift and lift. Let's go for another five. Remember, active squeeze into our left glute. That's the muscle that is doing most of the work. Core stays 100% turned on. Two more, lift. Last one, meet me at the top. Extend that right arm out in front of you. Inhale, find stability. Exhale, draw knee and elbow together. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Last seven, <laughs> and you're almost there. You always almost made it. So find that <laughs> engagement <laughs> and then power through those last five reps, celebrating yourself for making it to the end, <laughs> putting in the work, showing up for yourself. This is sometimes even more important <laughs> then the strength build that comes with it. Just being there for yourself, showing up for yourself. Last one, hands back down, knees back down. So well done, you. <laughs> Let your forehead rest, stretch it out, be proud of yourself. How do you feel? I hope you feel fantastic. So that coming back to the yoga mat, to your exercises, won't feel as hard next time when you're back. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining. See you soon again. Bye-bye.